So I watched Titanic right at the height of Leonardo DiCaprio fever. Okay. And I was I was like really young. I had watched Romeo and Juliet and was just like, oh my God, this boy is the most handsome boy I've ever seen in my life. Amazing. And I loved Romeo and Juliet. Like I'm a sucker for a tragic love story. Yeah. Much like Titanic. <laughs> yeah. And so this came out and I was like, oh my gosh, Leo is so cute. Oh my God, I cried so much. This was the first movie that I watched in a movie theater twice. That's how oh much my I loved gosh. it. I never did that before. You're the demographic. I Yeah, young. Yeah, I watched it later. I didn't watch it when I was really really young and then I think I watched it in my teens it's still Leo so he's still Leo but it yeah. wasn't like the height height of yeah Leo. and I love a love story but a tragic one I'm like mm, you took me this far just to kick me in the nuts like <laughs> Bummer. James. So, yeah. Anyway, we're watching the honest trailer for Titanic remastered. Titanic's out in the cinemas again. I didn't know that. And now I'm like, oh, maybe I should go watch Titanic in the movie theater again. For James all Cameron sake. is like just crowdfunding all the avatars. <laughs> yeah. He's like, give me the money. <gasps> New <gasps> technology. Re-release everything. <laughs> so anyway, you guys, uh, if you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe. Click the bell icon. All notifications on and upvote this video uh, go ahead and subscribe to honest trailers as well and give them a like so let's check this out titanic is returning to theaters Iconic, for its 25th yeah. anniversary giving dudes everywhere an easy way to seal the deal this valentine's day now, settle in for a remastered Honest trailer of the one we made back in 2012, because some things have changed since then, oh. but honestly not that much. Together, their undying love made James Cameron filthy f***ing rich. <laughs> Titanic yeah. 2023 Remastered Edition. When this sheet of paper survives 80 years at the bottom of the ocean, somehow, this 100-year-old will explain where the priceless jewel between her boobs went <laughs> in a film that dares to imagine. What if your grandma's rambling stories were actually interesting? <laughs> That's the most erotic moment of my life. Ma'am, that is your granddaughter. But it's such an epic tale. She says erotic. You can barely even wonder yeah, how she yeah. knows what everyone Hilarious. else was saying at all times. Cadbury. While I was being plowed in the backseat of a Coupe de Ville, <laughs> I was chatting about his special nose. You know, it's smell like, you know. What is there? Anyway, back to the sex. <laughs> Board the Titanic, a ship inspired by your mom. She is the largest moving object ever made by the hand of man in all history. And that's a big <gasps> ass. We're talking 20, 30,000 tons. Tour the extremely British upper decks. Keep order here. Keep order, I say. Oh, yeah, very. The ethnic stereotypes below. I'm Tommy Ryan. Fabrizio. Oi. And the more people below even them. Stoke them right up! We go full ahead! Yeah. Then welcome aboard young Rose, a once and future drama queen. To me, it was a slave ship taking me back to America in chains. Okay, relax. Yeah. Watch as the 17-year-old risks it all and throws caution to the wind because you never know how long you've got until Leonardo DiCaprio leaves you for a literal child. You're still my best oh my girl, God. Cora. Hmm, not getting the best vibes from this guy. I don't know if that was an intentional joke, but I literally just saw a thing where, like, Leonardo DiCaprio is now dating an 18-year-old? No, he's... is he? Apparently. And so I don't know if that was the joke there, but it, I'm just kind of like, oh my god. That's so funny. It's like, I saw all the jokes that he has not dated someone under 24, and he's like, hold my beer. Let's go. Even younger, yeah. as long as it's legal. Right, okay. Yeah. It's like the only thing holding him back is the law. Not my life. Yeah, whatever, <laughs> dude. More power to you. Mm. Leo splits <laughs> his way into every millennial girl's heart as Jack Dawson, while he drags Rose into a whirlwind romance, literally. Come with me. Jack, wait. This scene was fun. Come on. Well, come on. Okay. Come on, come on, Rosie. Come on. Come on. But he saves her life. Jack, come on. No, Jack, no. He's impossibly hot, hopelessly romantic, and completely devoted to a woman he spent like 12 hours with tops. He even dropped his Wisconsin accent to be more attractive. 
I grew up there near Chippewa Falls. And as I was saying, that water there is cold enough to freeze your pooper off, don't you know? <laughs> Thrill as Jack and Rose deal with her fiancé, Cal, the Monopoly guy with better hair. We are royalty, Rose. Even though Billy Zane is the only man who looks better bald. He does look really good bald. Escape from Rose's evil mother, who lost her husband and doesn't want to live in poverty? What a b <laughs> with Molly Brown, literally the only nice rich person on board. You shine up like a new penny. And set sail with the captain, who is just one voyage short of retirement. Retire with a bang, eh, EJ? You people can't just mm. go around foreshadowing like that and expect not to die. It is unsinkable. God himself could not sink this ship. She's all the life you need. But this ship can't sink. What a lucky son of a in the world, you know that? Jinx. Ah! Oh, no. Strap in for a perfect split between romance and disaster, plus the horror film rule, where if you have sex outside of marriage, a monster rises from the deep to kill <laughs> everyone you love. The Titanic goes down in stunning detail, handing out hundreds of deaths that range from heartbreaking to kind of funny oh. <laughs> to pretty unnecessary, since yeah. that piece of wood was clearly big enough for two. Jack. I know it's poetic, Mr. Cameron, but this is the internet. You get one small detail wrong and no one will shut up about it for 25 years. 80% <laughs> of my body is out of the water. I think Jack's death was needless. Everybody in here know that she should have got up off that bed and, and shared it with him. Could Jack have fit on that door at the end? Oh <laughs> my gosh. No comment. <laughs> would have shared the raft. I've never really seen it as a debate. It's just stupid. <laughs> Cameron's verdict? Jack might have lived. Yes, I knew it. I never let go, Jack. I never let go. Never let go. So revisit the film. That's the Rosetta Stone of James Cameron's true passions. Checking out cool animals, putting Kate Winslet underwater, <laughs> and using his movies as an excuse to dick around with submarines. Yes. Yeah. In this three-hour epic that turns a real tragedy into the backdrop for a made-up romance, a genre that can be amazing when it works, but it usually doesn't. You are just so... Oh, no. <laughs> Never forget. Oh, I like to remember. I, I haven't seen that one. But I like anything Edward. Starring. Uh, Edward Cullen. <laughs> <Rubber Pass. laughs> These rows ain't loyal. These rows. <laughs> See, Dave fiance. Hey, Grandpa. Um, you might want to sit down for this. Yar, bring me the heart of the ocean. Yar. Leak end at Bernie's. Brown versus Boat of Transportation. Oh the number one quote of 1997. I'm the king of the world! I'm the king of the world! The number one song of 1997. Oh and the number one opinion of boys in 1997. I've thought of nothing except Titanic, but I never got it. It sinks. <laughs> it sinks. It sinks. Did you know that Johnny Depp turned down the role of Jack? <laughs> Johnny Depp in a doomed romance at sea, playing a hero named Jack with a spoiled rich girl running away from her problems, looking for a mythical treasure, being pursued oh. by arrogant British aristocrats. That's oh good. my god. That would never work. That's so good. Draw me <laughs> well like done. One of French girls. Uh, that is I'm the king of the world. Iconic <gasps> lines. You. You. This is what happens when you find a stranger in the Alps. That's random. Will you be my Valentine? Smoochy, smoochy. Okay. Oh my god. That was excellent. That was really good, that actually. Was excellent. Yeah. yeah. That was one of my favorite honest trailers. Maybe it's just because it's an older movie. It's so far out. Yeah, it's so far out that like, you know, we can just laugh about the silliness of it. At the time, I really, really liked the film, you know. But yeah. yes, there were definitely some stupid things. And I do agree, Jack could have fit on the freaking door. Totally. Yeah. Totally. But yeah, I think it's like far enough out and it's like I think we're at a time in society where we think rich people problems are funny. Not that Titanic was funny, but like a way they were like such like 
jerks in the movie. You yeah. Know, all the rich people and like the way they defined class was kind of generic. But for the time, it was unique. Well, I mean, I guess also at that time, too, it was very much that like, you know, the, class. Got the upper class and like the second class and then like all the working people. And it is a kind of upstairs, downstairs situation where the more high class you were, the higher up you were on on the decks and the tiers. I mean, the word posh is an acronym for I think it's like port out starboard home oh. um, because if you were rich then that's what you could do you could get like the best views the best Place rooms be. on the on the boat whoa yeah so that, that meant that, that you were acronym. posh I think so yeah my okay. dad told me that that's funny <laughs> um, yeah. yeah this was really funny this was great like I, I thoroughly enjoyed that I'm surprised that they didn't mention anything about the fact that she just threw away the, the I know heart of the ocean or whatever like that that gorgeous diamond at the end like was there a joke there that could have been made because that was random too she just goes oh. screw it <laughs> she just drops it in the ocean even though my mom like just wanted to be rich again we could have used this I know. or it could have been my reminder of him I'd rather not look at it. Uh, she's going to die anyway. She's yeah. 100 years old. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she's like, she lived an entire long life because this guy basically saved her life and then didn't get on the door thing with her. It's a tragedy. Terrible. Rose. I'm still crying over it. Yeah. No good. <laughs> no, this is fantastic, you guys. Yeah, Let us really know what funny. you thought in the comments below. And yeah, give us a subscribe, a like, all that good stuff. And we'll catch you next time. I'm Achara Cook. This is Steph Sabra. Ciao.